Happy Thursday, guys. Uh, I want to record a quick video for all the lead gen agencies. So I know there's a lot of e-com agencies, lead gen agencies. Uh, for you guys who don't know, we ran a lead gen agency. So uh, that's our primary focus. So if you're a local lead gen agency and you're looking to get more meetings and you're stuck below 15 meetings, listen, we have been in that situation. Um, and so I, I decided to primarily just focus on local lead gen agencies plus you know people that are under 15 appointments a week and most likely if you're watching this video up to this point uh, you're in that situation or if you just want to book an extra 100 appointments in 90 days uh, then this is also going to be a video for you now i find that with most local lead gen agencies we have to think about what are the ways to contact them right there's there's various ways to do outbound prospecting and again if you guys don't, that don't know haven't watched my content in the past uh, we primarily focus on just outbound prospecting all right so um you know there's there's a chilling ways to do appointments um, i find that the most effective is outbound prospecting just because you know if you don't have a lot of money uh that's the way to go if your you know cpms and everything's rising in terms of paid ads on facebook or wherever you're doing paid traffic you know this is the way to go organic outbound and if you're just too high of costs, right? Too high of costs in, in terms of paid acquisition or you're doing organic outbound and it's not working, right? You've tried in the past, you have no idea on how to make it work. Um, you know, these videos are catered for you. Um, and so, you know, we, we built the whole agency to half a million uh, from just outbound prospecting. And this was cold email and picking up the phones, so cold calling, um, as well as sending messages through Facebook and IG. Over the past couple of months, we've really started to dial in on um, IG and Facebook messaging. Um, for all local lead gen agencies. And um, we're, we're rolling out some solutions soon, uh, where to find the right people, where to, um, you know, where to message them, how to message them, what, what's the offer, how do you transition them to a call? Um, I think there's a lot of, lot of potential um, with booking meetings from Instagram and Facebook with outbound prospecting, and it can be very cost effective as well, right? And most people, um, if you're not seeing results with outbound prospecting, um, just look at one thing. There's only one thing that you have to look at. If any of your outbound prospecting channels are not working, the number one thing I want you to look at is going to be volume. How many messages, how many outbound messages are you sending out, whether that's via call, via text, via voicemail, via messages, how many of those are you sending out on a daily basis, right? Always look at that number because I can tell you right now, if we were to hop on a call and you're like, Caleb, the outbound prospecting is not working for us right now, it's just not effective, it doesn't make sense, I would ask you, okay, what are you doing in terms of numbers because at the end of the day we're the only right when we're looking at indicators of let's say you know the definition of organic outbound working is the the result right so the result here is more closed deals right more cash collected and to backtrack to get this number we have to go into every segment of the process to make sure that this number is coming out that the output is coming out the way that we want and in order to do that we have to break up organic outbound in in various segments right and so it's not just it's not just the messaging it's not just just the offer usually it starts with okay how many messages are we sending out right because with more volume um you get to use the cycle of is it working if it's not working what do we change and then go ahead and, and change it and then is it working did we see improvements okay go ahead and keep doing that that's the cycle that you have to do right with outbound prospecting and the more times, the more volume that you're able to send out and send out more messages and just do more of this, the faster you can go through not making it work, sending 25 to 50 DMs a day, maybe 500 emails in a day, to then you know sending two times, three times, four times the volume, and you're able to ramp up that speed process way, way quicker, right? And so the number one thing that you, you want to solve is just how do I send out more messages? Well... You know, sending out more messages via email. If you're sending out one my one emails or you keep landing in spam and you know that's not working, then look at automation. There's a lot of automation tools out there that allows you to send. You could even send 10,000 plus emails in a single day. You know, there's there's solutions, right? And so you have to define the problem. The problem is I'm not saying enough volume, right? And then you list out the problems from there. So let's say the problems from not sending out enough emails is you know you have to hire more VAs or you don't know a scalable way to send out more Gmails or you just haven't found any solutions. And so if that's the problem, then we just have to find a solution that's going to be able to allow you to scale, right? And be able to automate it so you don't have to hire too many VAs to make sense of the numbers, right? There you go. You saw, you, you identify the problem, you place the solution, and then you move on. Next part, right, is going to be the offer, right? Once we have volume down, making sure that the offer, right, the messaging, um, everything that we're, we're providing in terms of the solution is down, 
All right, and it has to be appealing. If that's not appealing, then you know, obviously not a lot of people are gonna respond. Okay, so, so you crack that down. So you wanna find out what part of the process are you having a problem with, identify the problem, isolate the problem, right? Just like in sales, like you can't, you can't, win, you can't win the objection if you don't know what the objection is in sales. That's a fact, right? How, how are you gonna overcome an objection? Right? If it's a smoke screen and you don't actually get down to the real objection, which might be price, which might be various factors, right? timing, everything included in that. All right? So in order for you to win a sale, you have to overcome an objection and you have to identify the objection, isolate it, and then solve it and then move on and move on to the next objection. Right? And so the same thing here. If this whole sequence is not working in terms of outbound prospecting, you want to look at okay, what, how, the first step of the equation. Am I setting enough volume? And I can tell you 99.99999% of people in the local lead gen space, if you're an agency owner and you're seeing less than 15 appointments and outbound prospecting is not working, then this is going to be your problem. I'm telling you right now, 99.99999% because I struggled with it. And I, I realized that that was my problem. I just wasn't setting enough volume. Okay, so that's the very first part of the process. Identify the problem, isolate it, solve it. Then we move on to the next one. All right, so set, Caleb, sending 5,000, 10,000 emails. It's just not, not, not seeing a response. Okay, we got to look at deliverability. Is it deliver, uh, deliverability problem? Are they not opening the emails? Um, are they opening the emails but they're not responding? Right, that's probably the messaging, the scripting. Okay, identify the problem, isolate it, solve it, move on to the next one. All right, then we craft the offer. That's good. All right, we, we're solving that. We're getting some people to respond back, but the I don't know the, the show up rate's not showing up. Right, they're not. Or it's not high enough. Okay. Identify the problem. Caleb, we're at 55%, 40% for show up rate. This is terrible. You know, I want to get it up to 70%. All right, well, where in that process, how, how's your follow-up sequence? What are you sending? Are you sending, are you warming them up, right? Are they getting excited for the call? What is, what is the reminder sequence look like? Are you reminding them? Are you, are you shooting them a call day before, day of, right? Are you, are you making sure that the, the, the invites are being sent out? It's getting sent into their inbox, all right? And there's a little, you know, things that we can tweak. You know, how are you scripting the, the, the appointment? Um, you know, we're, we're able to, to identify a problem and really find a solution that's catered to them, right? And that's going to produce a higher show up rate. So identify the problem, isolate it, then solve it. I promise you, if you look at outbound prospecting, not that it doesn't work or it doesn't, or it does work or it doesn't work. Outbound prospecting works, okay, guys? And there's a billion different agencies out there in the local lead gen space in your niche right now that's dominating outbound prospecting. Why? Because they've identified, they, they've done the numbers, they made it work, and now they just have a belief. Once you make it work, you just have to believe that it works. And so it's not a question of like, oh, is outbound prospecting worth my time? It's like, no, I saw it work, and now I have a belief that it works. And now I don't care what kind of challenges pop up or any problems that pop up in the, in, in the future. Because I already have the belief and I saw it work, I'm going to continue to do it. And that was my story. Like Once I saw it work for our agency, outbound prospecting, before, if I didn't have that belief and all these challenges, all these problems came up, then I would have been like, I would have gave up. I, would, I would threw the towel and I've been like, this definitely does not work because I don't have that belief with the same problems. But let's say I had the same problems and challenges, but I already had conviction and I already saw the results of it working. Well, now, and, and that's what happened in the agency. Now I'm just like, dude, the problems come up. Let's solve it. Let's solve it. All right. Because most times it's just you don't have the belief. You don't have the conviction that it works. Right? And, and that's why maybe you're running paid ads and you have so much conviction and you're spending so much money and the, the numbers don't really make sense, but you have so much conviction to make it work. And that's why it works. And that's why you continue to do it. But you haven't yet ha seen it happen in your agency with outbound prospecting and you don't have the belief, you don't have the conviction. And therefore, when challenges, problems arise or um, things that you're unaware of um, or unknown, then you don't have the, the confidence to move forward, solve the problem and actually put in the time and energy required to solve it. Okay, so, you know, when outbound prospecting is not working, I, I broke down all those little segments, but usually it's just a belief, conviction that it does work. Because if you have that conviction, the same conviction that you have uh, when you close deals, the same conviction that you have when you get client results, you have conviction that it works. And that's the reason why you're in the agency space, right? You're in the agency space because you believe you can grow an agency. And so the same way works with outbound prospecting. If you believe outbound prospecting works, you will continue to work at it and it will start to work. Trust me. All right, so um, just a quick video for y'all. Happy Thursday. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.